All right, wait, 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 wait. Stop the music. Is this really me being streamed from a PC to a 3DS while being streamed talking with you on YouTube? That's right, it sure is. And I'm about to teach you how to use your jailbroken 2DS or 3DS system to pull off this trick and even stream your favorite services like YouTube or Netflix to your system. I couldn't have said it better myself. All of this is made possible through the magic of an application called Pinbox. It's linked for you in the description and hosted on the GitHub. Scroll down on that page until you see the listing for Assets. Click on the word Assets and it expands this section. Inside this section there are two downloads to get. The first one is the Pinbox software that runs on your 3DS system. It contains the 3DSX file that you need to run it. The second is the server software that runs on your computer. And if you're prompted by Chrome or any other browser, simply select Keep in order to download this file to your computer. In addition, you'll need the latest version of the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable file. It's linked for you in the description. Scroll down on this page until you see the listings for the downloads. In this case, I'm running Windows 11 64-bit, so I'm going to download the x64 version shown here. Select the version that matches your version of Windows. In your Downloads folder, locate the Visual C++ file and double-click on it. Click the checkbox next to I agree to the terms and conditions, and then click Install at the bottom center of the box. Then click Yes at the UAC to continue. Once the install process is complete, click Close in the bottom right corner. Now you can go back to your Downloads folder and delete the installer file for Visual C++. And remember, it's still archived in your recycle bin if you need it. You'll need to uncompress the other two files that you downloaded. These are in 7Z format. I have the 7-zip software link for you in the description if you need it. Once you have these files uncompressed, delete them from the Downloads folder. Next up, insert the SD or microSD card from your 2DS or 3DS system. Then arrange the windows in a way that makes sense for you. In this case, I have the Downloads folder on the left, and I have the 3DS card on the right. Navigate to the folder with the release number, in this case, 0.2.4. Double-click on that folder, then select everything inside the folder. Drag and drop all of the contents of this folder into the 3DS folder on your SD or microSD card. Once you have all of this content copied over, go back one level in your Downloads folder. You can optionally delete this folder as it's already been copied over to your SD card and remember it's still archived in the recycle bin. Remove the SD or microSD card from your computer and insert it back into your Nintendo 2DS or 3DS system. An important note here, the creator of this program notes in the README file that you'll either need to authorize port 1234 in and out of your Windows Defender firewall, or just simply turn off the firewall while you're using this software. For the purposes of this example, I simply turned off the firewall and turned it back on once it was done. Back in your Downloads folder, navigate to and double-click into the Pinbox Server folder. Inside this folder, locate the pinboxserver.exe file and double-click on it. In the text information that appears, you'll be presented with a confirmation that the server is active and an IP address. You need to make note of this IP address so that you can put it into your 2DS or 3DS system in just a moment. And make note that your IP address will likely be different than the one that you see on screen here. You'll also get confirmation from the server app that it's connected to port 1234. You'll need the IP address and the port number in just a moment. Power on your Nintendo 2DS or 3DS system and make sure it's connected to your wireless internet. Navigate through the home screen to locate the Homebrew Launcher and select it with the A button to launch it. When the Homebrew Launcher main menu appears, you'll see a new listing there for Pinbox. Tap on Pinbox to launch it for the first time. The main menu for Pinbox is located in the bottom touchscreen. To stream your PC contents over to your 3DS, you'll need to enter the IP address and port number that you discovered earlier when launching the server side from your PC. Tap the red edit button next to the address bar. This pulls up a virtual keypad so that you can type in the IP and port number. Make note that you need to enter a colon between the IP address and the port number. Once you have these entered in, tap OK to continue. To initiate the connection between your PC and your 3DS, tap the start button. You'll see activity on the server side indicating the connection has been made. And in the top display of your 3DS, you'll see the mirrored image and sound from your computer. You can now watch and listen to anything your heart desires, including streaming services like Netflix and YouTube. You can even get a sneak preview of the next 3DS video you should watch. 
and that video is all about learning how to back up 3DS cartridges to play them from your SD card. And don't forget, if you turned off your Windows firewall, turn it back on.